Hi guys, welcome back to Home Life with Rebecca. Today I'm trying out a new recipe from Julia Pacheco's channel. So this is a one pot meal. And I wasn't going to record this, but then I started making it and it's almost done. I realized how easy it is to make and I had all the ingredients already on hand. Um, I'm hoping my family likes it. We shall see, but it was very, very simple to put together. And right now it's just simmering, but I'll show you what it looks like so far. So the first thing I did is I put a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil and half of a diced white onion. And I cooked that, sauteed it till it was tender. And then I added about a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic, and then a cup of orzo pasta. That is this pasta right here. So a cup of this that we already had on hand. And then I think it's a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I just stirred that together for, I don't know, a few minutes till the pasta started to brown, kind of like when you cook rice aroni. And then you add two cups of chicken broth and one cup of heavy whipping cream and you just let this simmer for about 10 minutes during frequent, frequently to make sure the pasta doesn't stick. And then after that, I'll add some shredded chicken. This is some shredded chicken. The, I boiled this chicken this morning on the stove. Um, those are some basil leaves in there. Um, and I just seasoned this with some garlic and onion powder and basil. And then I'll dump that into there and then you do about half a cup of Parmesan cheese and some spinach. I don't have any fresh spinach, but I do have some kale that is frozen that I could throw in there that'll, you know, that'll be like spinach. And then that will be dinner and very simple. I already had everything to make it. Oh, and it was the juice from one lemon. So I probably used like, I don't know, maybe two tablespoons of lemon juice because I didn't have actual lemon. It smells good. So I'm excited to show you the final product when it's done and let you know how it tastes. I think I'm gonna add some salt and pepper to mine also after I throw the chicken in. And then I had these, these have been sitting in my fridge for a while. So I'm just gonna pop these into the oven and that will be dinner. What did we have last night? Last night I made creamy chicken Alfredo um, with a bag of like uh, frozen vegetables. It was like broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. Um, and I put some Parmesan cheese in that, and that was a really good dinner. We had salad also. I don't have any lettuce left, so we won't be having salad tonight. So maybe I'll make a can of green beans or something to go with this. Or I do have, actually I think what I'll do is I've got a cucumber and a tomato left. Maybe I'll just do like a cucumber tomato salad. That might be good. So yesterday we had the guys come in and put insulation in our attic. They said there was hardly any up there and we can already feel a difference in the house. It feels a lot cooler. Um, you can feel like the temperature difference from when you come from outside. It's 91 degrees outside and I don't feel like I'm dying in here. And they also said it will help immensely in the winter time to trap the heat in too. So I'm happy about that. Yesterday it was crazy because it was like, I don't know, six men here with stuff everywhere for like four hours. That was, that was kind of hard. This isn't ready yet. You just want to make sure your, the orzo pasta is tender and not crunchy anymore probably got a few minutes left so anyway I don't feel like I'm dying today because it's hot outside with the the little air conditioning unit we have in the living room and the fans going it actually feels okay I don't feel like super irritable so I think that's a lot of the reason why I was getting like upset or my temper was short it was because I was hot like it's hard to do anything when you're that warm Cause like when you're cold, I mean, I don't like being cold either, but you can like put layers on. When you're hot, you can only take so much off. It's not like I can just walk around my house naked. Well, I mean, I guess I could, but I don't think the kids would 
I appreciate that very much. Why did I pick this up? It's not ready to go in. So this is gonna be dinner. And then I've got my whole menu planned out for the week. I think tomorrow I've got some ham left over from Easter that's in the freezer. I think I'm gonna pull that out and do something with that. I'm not sure what yet, I'll figure it out. I just know there's ham on my menu, it needs to be eaten. And then I've got like a beef zucchini bake that I have that I found from Julia Pacheco's channel too because we have some zucchinis again from the garden so I thought I could use those up this week. And I've still got three big potatoes I need to use up so I think what I might do is throw those in the crock pot and cook them overnight and make breakfast potatoes for the kids in the morning. We have a really busy day tomorrow. Kennedy's got speech and OT. I gotta get Allie to work. Parker and Tiffany have to go over to the high school and get their pictures taken, get their ID cards, get their lockers, all that good stuff. Then my husband has like physical therapy and it's just gonna be a busy day. So I might, maybe I'll do the breakfast potatoes so it makes an easy breakfast for everybody that's on the go. Ammon Days was really fun. I did record a lot of it, but some of it's on my actual camera and some of it's on my phone, so I haven't transferred everything yet. It'll probably be like a little three minute video just put to music. Um, but you know, they just have the vendors out there. My husband entered the raffle. You had to get like so many signatures from like the vendors, had people sign it off. There was like, I think it was like 30 signatures. It took him a while. Um, and then you turned that in and you can win a prize. And he won a prize. He won dinner, a $50 gift card with Outback Steakhouse. Um, and two tickets to the Regal Cinema, which is just down the street. And I think it was $10 to the concession stand. So date night and he got like, two belts from one of the vendors that he was super excited about the belts. And then they had like the big stuff inside. Kennedy was the only one that played in it. They didn't have as many bounce houses as they had last year. But you know, there was music and um, we tried to support the local vendors. We got a couple of the $2 tacos and got some soda. What else did we get? I think that was it. Oh, we got a, like a mozzarella stick. It was like from like the corn dogs, but it's a mozzarella stick. And we just walked around and then it rained on us. And then they had the glow in the dark swim. And then we were there for like 15 minutes, almost 15 minutes when they called everybody out of the pool for 30 minutes because there was a lightning alert. And it was actually, it actually worked out because it didn't start till almost 9.30 and Kennedy was already so tired. And it was kind of hard to see in the dark. My husband was in the pool there and I was trying to like capture everything on video. Um, so we just told her it was over and the older kids stayed and we went home and she had hot chocolate. So she was, she was fine, but it was neat. They threw so much glow in the dark stuff in the pool. It looked really, really cool. And then they had like five hot air balloons out at the park and they lit those up. So that was really neat. And then Sunday morning we woke up to hot air balloons. Why is it my pepper? Come oh, it is coming out. We woke up to hot air balloons over our house. I was like, Adam, what's that noise? Like it woke me up. And he's like, what noise? And I was like, that noise. And he goes, oh, that's just the vent from Alice's bathroom downstairs. And I was like, that is not the bathroom vent. Like that is loud. And it's, if that's the vent, then we have like serious problems. <laughs> and then he sat up in bed. He's like, oh my gosh, look outside. And the balloon was like right there in our window. <laughs> so we went outside, tried to get the kids up to come look at them, but they wouldn't get up. I guess they released the balloons at like seven o'clock in the morning from the park, but we still had a really good view because they flew right above our house. So that was really neat to see. And then we went to church on Sunday. The older kids had a youth group, me and Adam washed the car. And then Kennedy at the Ammon Days, she won a free French fry and icy from McDonald's. So we took her to get that. And it was a really nice weekend. Yesterday was just, you know, normal Monday stuff. I was catching up on laundry and housework and made dinner, watered the garden, all that good stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the spinach or the kale. Okay, I preheated my oven, or it's preheating for the biscuits. 
got a little bit more than half a cup of Parmesan cheese in here. It was like I just used the rest because there wasn't really enough left in there to do anything else with. So it's just a tiny bit more cheese than what it called for. And I put some kale in there so I'll just let that warm up and cook down. And then I'm going to cut up the cucumber and tomato. And I'll put the, I think what I'll do is put the P.F. Chang <coughs> dressing on it. I like to keep my kale frozen like this. Um, and our neighbor gives us kale too because it's really good in smoothies that way. the dressing I like to use. <clears throat> P.F. Chang's Signature Vinaigrette. It's super good. Um, it's like four, almost five dollars though. But it lasts a while because um, you only need a little bit because it's strong. So we've had this probably a little over a month. This in the sink. everybody likes this. I mean, it sounds good and it smells really good. I'm sure like you could probably make it with some bigger pasta if you wanted. Well, it smells really good. I guess if they don't like it, there's a little bit of Alfredo left from last night, but it almost kind of smells the same. It might be like one of those things where you just kind of take the same ingredients and just kind of switch it up a little bit just maybe give it a little different flavoring you know because this has the lemon in it oops so I did go to Walmart the other day um, I took Allie she bought herself a backpack and I just got the 35 cent notebooks I got six wide ruled and six college ruled I got another box of mechanical pencils and that and just a couple like cheap folders that's all I bought I went and I looked at all the kids like school supply list and I'm just gonna have to wait I know like the high schoolers don't even have a list out they never get put out a list until they get their classes and everything but like for Wes he's going into junior high so I'm gonna have to get him it says he needs like three of the 1.5 inch binder folders but then Tiffany who went to that school last year she said that she just got a bigger one and then just divided it with like the, the tabs or whatever she did it that way she said because her locker wasn't near some of her classes and they have to use their lockers in middle school they're not allowed to carry their backpacks class to class for like safety reasons because of everything that's happened um so she said it was easier to just put everything in one binder and keep the uh what are they called the dividers in there so that she didn't have to go to her locker between every class so if that was allowed I mean she did it all year she said none of the teachers ever had a problem with it then I might just have Leslie do that that will actually save me money because I think we have one of those binders and then I'll, his science class needs a five subject notebook and those are not cheap like I don't know why they're so expensive they're like five bucks but he has to have one of those and then I did get some composition books so we can pick from one of those. Um, and then Jillian, she, I looked at her class supply list and basically it's just stuff for throughout the year. So I, she does not have to have everything at once. And the same with Kennedy. It's just, I'll send her with a couple of folders and some paper. And then as you know, cause Adam gets paid every two weeks, then I'll gradually like get, cause I know we will need to get dry erase markers. I don't have any, but they all want black dry erase markers and they prefer them not to be the Dollar Tree kind because I get it, they don't last. Um, but at Walmart, like, they only sold two dry erase markers together instead of the pack of like four or six, but those were all like different colors. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I wish they sold like five or six of them, just the black ones. They do on Amazon and I think I found some for $9. So I have them in my cart, but I haven't ordered them yet. I was going to check Staples too because sometimes they have some pretty good 
back to school deals but I'm not going to stress because I don't think they need it for like that very first week of school because I know so like Jillian and Kennedy have a full day on the, on the 29th the 29th of August that's their first day of school and Wesley and Tiffany have half a day because this is just seventh grade and then it's just eighth grade or just ninth grade that goes and then Allie because her school is an alternative school I think she has a regular day that Monday and then Parker's the only one he's gonna be a junior he's the only one that doesn't have school Monday he goes back to school Tuesday the 30th but then that Friday it's like September 2nd Jillian Kennedy have no school and I'm like what <laughs> and then that Monday is Labor Day so it's just so confusing and back to school night is the 25th I better stop talking and get my biscuits in Okay, then back to school night is August 25th, so that I think makes Wesley and Tiffany feel a little bit better because at least we can go get their schedule, get their locker, they can practice opening up their lockers and find where all their classes are. Does anybody else freak out to open these? I hate opening these. It gives me so much anxiety. I don't like to open them. eight to 11 minutes. I always forget to read the direction after I've opened them. I'm so, <laughs> it was, that was loud. Well, sometimes it's not that loud. I don't know why. That freaks me out so bad. <laughs> Biscuits. Put those in the oven and make the cucumber or tomato salad. So here's dinner and we actually did have some lettuce left so just use the rest of the lettuce. I put the ranch out too in case somebody wants different dressing since there was lettuce, but I'm gonna taste this. I got, we had some of those, I know most people don't like them, little imitation bacon bits, but we had some, so I put some on my salad too. Well, I just recorded myself taking a bite and saying how good it was, and it wasn't actually recording. But it is good and I was saying it doesn't really taste it reminds me of like an Italian dish obviously because it's pasta with the heavy cream and stuff but it doesn't taste like the Alfredo because you can taste that lemon in there it almost reminds me of that Tuscany soup or something from Olive Garden yeah that's the kind of vibe it's giving me but without really the soup part It's really good. I hope the kids like it because it was really easy to assemble and I had the ingredients on hand. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to stay chicken tendies and get everybody else eating because Tiffany's got to go to work and I got to go pick up Allie from her job and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.